Hi, I'm Tamir from Taddy Brothers, and in this video I'll show you how to set up all the parts of your Slinky Quick Disconnect that works with a fifth wheel RV backup camera system. The first thing I wanted to give you guys is two pointers. The first one is don't be scared to try things. These systems are very durable. We make them so you can play with it and feel comfortable using it that you're not going to break it. The other thing is bench test everything. It'll give you a better understanding of how the system works, and it'll make the installation quicker and a lot of times cleaner. Bench, chasing, bench testing is basically what we're doing here, so I want you guys to watch what we're doing and then just repeat it again in your vehicle. Um, regarding the, the quick disconnect, some people have asked us what exactly do I need it for. What it basically is, is you have a truck and you have a fifth wheel camper or if you're hauling something. What this does is put a coiled cable between the truck and the fifth wheel so that you can connect the backup camera to the monitor in a quick and easy way. This way you can disconnect it, reconnect it at the hitch. It's got to be coiled so when the vehicle turns or twists, it's not going to break. And again, when you're done with it, you don't need some long cable. So it's coiled so you can also put it away when you're not using it or you don't need it. Um, okay, so let's get started with the parts. For this demonstration, we're going to use a 7-inch split-screen monitor that you see right here. The same process will work if you want to use our uh, mirror rear-view monitor or 7 or 9-inch up to 12-inch. It really just depends on what you want to do. The other component here is the RV bird's-eye view camera. This backup camera is meant to go on the back of your vehicle and point it down. It gives you a bird's eye view. But again, the same process will work with a license plate camera or a side camera. Um, it just depends on which direction you end up going with. Um, the SKU numbers that are applicable to these quick disconnect systems is the standard quick disconnect, which is the SKU number 25032. We have the heavy duty one, which is the 25033, and the industrial commercial grade 25034. These are the quick disconnects that we're going to be addressing here. So it's the same process for all of them. They're all available in one up to four channels. When you purchase it, it just depends on how many channels you're, you're deciding you want there. Um, okay, so let me break the parts down for you. The first component that we have here is the coiled cable. That's the part that goes between the truck and the fifth wheel. Those are available in the different sizes. That's what the heavy duty and the commercial grade uh, apply to. Then we have the coiled cable harness and the four pin connector. This, the coiled cable harness is the part that connects between the truck and the coil and the fifth wheel and the coil. There's two different versions of it. There's the version I'm gonna be using here at the video which actually has them combined. So the coiled harness actually has the four pin connector built into it. And then we have another version, which you see here in the picture, which is the coiled cable harness showing you the amount of channels that you chose. And then you just connect the pins to it. Then we also have uh, in this system, it also comes with some brackets and screws if it's applicable to that type of cable. And also a baggie with a lot of different couplers, DC, RCA, male to female, just stuff to make the installation a little, little easier, and also a couple of uh, pigtails. If you need those, that'll make the installation a little bit easier as well. Um, let me show you first the, 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 the coiled harness I was talking about. For this video, we're going to be using this one. You can see that you have the connector here, and then you have the little four pin adapters that portion of it going right here. Here it's already built into the cable and we have a four channel cable, one, two, three, four, right? Um, so that you can carry four cameras in it. If you bought a two channel one, for example, it would look like this, right? Because you're only gonna be able to carry two cameras with it. That's what this one is for. If you got the one that you have to put together, Right, so it would look like this. This is the more heavy duty one. It actually is a little fancier because it shows here channel one, channel two, right? And then we would also connect these four pins to it. So let me just make it a little bit cleaner here for you guys to see. We're going to take this pin right here, plug it in there like that. Okay, and now we have a uh, cable that's 
from start to finish, it looks like that coiled cable harness that I showed you when I'm giving you all the parts. That's the only difference between the, the system. So when you're putting it together, that's basically what you're going to be doing. So back to what we're talking about here today. Let me first plug in the monitor. Right, We're using a split screen monitor. We're going to take the harness. We're going to match up the two arrows that you see right here. We're going to put it together. When you hear the click, you're there. We'll just set that aside here for a second. And let me start putting the parts together. The first part I'm going to address is the monitor side. So to do that, we want to get, we need one of these cables and we will need a premium cable that you have right here. Okay, the, what's going to happen is you're going to start the process of setting up the system on the truck side from the monitor and you're going to go back to the end of the truck. The reason you want to do that is this way the extra cable will be on the monitor side. You could spool it up, hide it under your dash, and it'll give you a cleaner installation. You also want the spool to basically be where the power is coming from. So that's how that is going to set up. So let me put it together here for you guys. Um, first thing I want to do is connect the this portion here. This is going to go to the back of this, right? This is going to go to the end of the truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to get look for channel one so it's usually the one all the way on the side if you get it wrong we'll just switch it around afterwards it's not a big deal and I'm going to connect this to here and now you see where we need the couplers because we have two males so I go to my little baggie that I have here <clears throat> like this and I'm gonna put the male here Oops. And we're going to connect the other RCA here. So then we have one of the channels coming out of the cable right there, going into here. And now this part is going to connect where the monitor is. Okay? We already connected the harness to the monitor. So what we're going to do here first is we need to connect this to power. And we have to connect the monitor to power. So how we're going to do that? We're going to take the red and the black on the monitor itself. Okay? and we're going to connect it to the 12 volts that we have right here. I'm using alligator clips, but obviously in your vehicle you're going to use uh, the fuse box or some kind of 12 volt, or when you're bench testing it, connect it to some kind of battery, 12 volt battery. So you can see the monitor already turned on, right? It's getting power, that's the blue monitor, right? When you see this blue screen, that doesn't mean it's broken, it means it's not getting a signal. That's what no signal means, but we're going to tackle that also, show you how to set that up. But now we have to connect this portion to the power as well. That's the cable that's going to the, the coiled harness, right? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the pigtail that we have here, okay? I, uh, I peeled off the ends of it a little bit to make it a little easier, and I'm going to unplug the camera and the, the, the monitor portion, and I'm just going to twist these together. All right, so we're going to go like this. Okay, we're going to twist these together like this. And we're going to twist this here. Like that. And then we're going to we're going to take this and connect this here. Like that. So now the power source for the cameras and the monitor are all from the same source. Obviously, if you have four cameras or two cameras or three cameras, you're going to do the same exact thing, and you're going to have a bunch of these connected here. You can make them nicer with electric tape and all that, but we're just doing a bench test here right now. So then what the next thing we're going to do is now I'm going to plug it into power again. Obviously, we're not going to have a picture because it's not connected to the camera yet. And the second portion of this cable, right, because it's got the video here as well, going to the 15-foot in here, um, we're going to connect it to the channel on the monitor itself. So because we're using the split screen, let me get the channel one. So you guys see that right here. It says AV1 right there. We're going to plug it in. And now we have the monitor getting power <clears throat> feeding to the 15-foot cable, which goes all the way to the end to this uh, where the quick disconnect, the slinky portion is going to connect. This just goes at the end of your truck. You just leave that there, and then you connect the cable after we're done with the monitor side. So one more time, let me go over this. You're going to have the monitor connected to the harness, connected to the 12 volts. You're going to have the cable that you're going to thread from the monitor to the edge of, to the end of the truck connected to that same power source as the monitor. That is going to get threaded through the vehicle all the way to the end of the truck where you're going to use the coiled cable harness.
That's what you're going to do with that. Um, now let's move on to the monitors, to the camera side, excuse me. Okay, we're going to move this over here. And let's go with that like that. Now we're going to go to the monitor side, camera side. So here I'm using an RV camera. Okay, remember when you're spooling all this stuff together, you're going to want to start from the edge of the fifth wheel and go all the way to the back. This way the extra cable is going to be spooled in a place where you'd be able to manipulate it better, keep it under the uh, gooseneck or whatever it is that you have. For this demonstration, I'm using our 35 foot premium cable. This cable has gold tip, it's very durable, and I upgraded it to have the inline power. This way you can continuously power the entire system from one, from one place. So here we have this cable. Um, let's just thread it all the way to the back, right? So I'm going to connect it over here, pretend this is all the way in the back there like that and like this okay so now we have this this cable right here I'm gonna put the camera in the back okay so th at this point this is what you're gonna have at the hitch we need to now get the other coiled harness right that we have right here this is the one that's gonna go at the end of the fifth wheel and we're gonna connect these together so we're gonna wanna find channel one which is probably this edge right here you see that and we're going to connect them, but you see you have now two males and two females. So now we're going to go back to our baggie of connectors that we have here. And I need a male-male DC plug and a female-female RCA. We provide you with all these baggies. If you need more, you can always pick them, at a local, pick them up at a local hardware shop or just call us. But we, we give you guys enough. So I'm first putting it at the end of the 50-foot cable, the premium with the power upgrade. And now I'm going to go to channel one here, and we're going to connect that here, and we're going to connect th this here. These connections are durable. They're not going to rust or anything, but if you want, put electric tape around them, make them nice. You're never going to have to disconnect it again. It's here, it works, and, and it's done. Once we did that, you just have this portion right there, and now we have this portion here, and we have the other portion, which we got right there over here between the truck all that's missing now is the coiled portion okay remember again you want to bench test this before installing it it's very important because if the camera isn't installed right or something like that you don't want to permanently mount it if it if you can't get it to work so you want to just make sure everything is working for you and this way you have better success putting the system together so when we're putting this up we're going to lift this up here I'm going to connect I'm looking for the one two and that goes at the top usually push it in, twist it around, like this, okay, and then we're going to do the same thing here, look for the one, two, and that goes on the top, and right away, we got it right the first time, like that, let me see, I'm going to put it on channel one for you guys, okay, so we got the monitor right here, see, it's a live image of the monitor, Okay, so now we have it working. I want to just go over the monitor, the camera side connection one more time if you have the, for the fifth wheel. The way you're going to do it is that at the end, you're going to first take the 50-foot premium cable, okay? And you're going to thread the cable from the front of the fifth wheel all the way to the back where you put the camera. Then you're going to connect the camera to the, uh, um, to the cables, to the, the cable that you just threaded, and you're going to, on the other side of it, connect the um, cable harness, the coiled cable harness. So you have that going, that's the other section of it going. So the first section is the monitor side, the second section is going to be the camera side, and then you're going to connect the coil at the hitch, and then it's going to work. Now let's say you had another situation where you're getting uh, no signal like I just did right here, right? I disconnected it and we're getting no signal. All that means is that you might be connecting it to one of the wrong channels, right? Because if you take it and connect it to, you know, if I move it over to another channel, obviously it's just not going to work because we're using the wrong channel there. So there might be some confusion, but it's not a big deal. All that stuff is in the same location anyways. Okay, so one more time, the process from the end to the beginning is going to be, you're going to do the monitor, 
going to the end of the truck, spool up all the cable under the dash, obviously. Then you're going to go from the truck, the end of the truck, you're going to go from the uh, front of the fifth wheel all the way to the back, mount your camera, put the coiled cable in between, fire up the system, and you're good to go. For the monitor portion of it, I want to show you guys something here, right? Right here in this connection where we have the harness, I'll make it a little cleaner for you, where we have the harness, right? We have here the pigtail that I made and the two alligator clips. Some of our monitors actually come with this pig, this uh, pigtail DC connector built into it. If you have that, you can skip this whole portion of cutting the pigtails. But most people end up just doing it their own way because they want the power coming from a different source. So, or a different, uh, a more convenient way of setting it up. So it's up to you how you set it up and what version you got there. Um, regarding the other cameras, if you have a side camera or a licensed camera, the installation is exactly the same way. Uh, you thread the cable from the front of the fifth wheel to the location of where you're going to put the side camera or the license plate camera. It's exactly the same process. If for some reason you have... Uh, a five camera system or a six camera system you might need to add an a b switch you would do that at the point of the monitor and then you can connect an extra input in there but that's a little bit more advanced you could always call us and we will help you out with that uh, if you have any questions or you just need some tech support feel free to call us at 866-966-5550 if you've already purchased from us i hope this video helped if you're still shopping Pop over to tattybrothers.com or give us a call. It would be an honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.